Alrighty then. Well, if we're gonna get weird, ladies and gentlemen, let's get extremely weird. Let me introduce you to a pretty fantastical movie that I saw recently called Aliens vs. Ninjas. Or is it in Ninjas vs. Aliens? Well, this is a Japanese martial arts science fiction comedy film. It's very funny for all the wrong reasons, all at once. Expect a lot of random weird shit, and you know what? That's part of why I love this movie so much. Now, I wouldn't so much call it a movie of theatrical acclaim, but it is a notoriously horrible looking movie, and it is kind of a, a, a silly take on what could be an actually pretty awesome story. Now, the, some of the effects are pretty fantastic. Uh, the creature design doesn't look bad, even though it's clearly a guy in the suit. And uh, the, some of the ninja uh, outfit designs are pretty awesome, I would say. And some of the characters are pretty sweet, too, even though I can't understand what they're saying. Uh, but I can read subtitles, and that's all that matters, really. And that's what you all have to go into. Now, some of the scenes in this movie are absolutely fucking awesome. And you'll see them ahead of you here today. Uh, but um, one of the things you also got to get across when you watch this movie is this high innuendo and fucking extremely over the top premise. You're in for a story about, well, aliens versus ninjas. As simple a premise as that could be. Uh, and I didn't really understand the exact intricacies of the story because I wasn't paying attention because I was so gobsmacked by the fact of how fucking hilariously awesome it was. <laughs> now, the main cast is pretty great, and some of the caricatures that you see across this film are hilarious. One in part being the alien, who has all kinds of manners of disgusting and deplorable abilities that will make your absolutely your fucking skin crawl in this pretty impressive to say the least. A gay bandit uh, is pretty high on the list of things that are amazing and random that come out of this movie and you never really know what to expect and I think that's part of some of the enjoyment you get out of these films. It doesn't matter how big good they are. It looks like a bunch of guys in cameras and suits making a bunch of stupid shit. But the way that it's all executed and the way it all comes together is hilarious and it'll keep you coming back for more honestly. They have weaponry and guns and some fairly okay-ish scene fighting scenes, although they're over the top and ridiculous. So get back and get ripped and be plan, plan to see a movie of absolute hilarity. Some of the mannerisms and expression, like look at this guy has no eyebrow facial expression. And this guy is like the hero guy. That guy's like the secondary hero guy. And of course there's the obligatory hot Asian woman. But it all comes together pretty nice and the set design is pretty eye-catching, eye to be to be honest. Uh, and it's uh, it's kind of an intricate little, little alien hunt thing. I, I'm pretty sure they're just fucking hunting the stupid alien. But the alien itself is, uh, is pretty, has pretty wacky designs. And it, uh, there's a lot of gore in it. The gore is, is just nice. It's a nice looking gore, gory type of movie. And, but <laughs> some of the fucking things that this monster performs is, is just utterly grotesque and these poor people get eaten. Now could they make something a little higher budget um, and make something a little amazing out of this? Now, if they made a sequel to this, it was, this would be truly incredible because they could take this cult classic formula and turn it into something that is just like ridiculously over the top, almost, almost in the vein of Sharknado. And I think that, that there's the, that, that love for stupid funniness that is an underappreciated gem of the filming thing. Like look in this fight scene, for example, he fucking just grabs the guy with his gigantic tail and then this chick is just doing all kinds of horribly innuendous things when they're fighting. <laughs> the fucking monster just generally makes you feel dirty when you watch it. <laughs> it fucking, uh, it, it could be, there, there could be a lot said from some shit that is so funny and over the top that you just can't help but enjoy it and laughing at it. Uh, it almost reminds you of like a Power Rangers-esque badness to it. Uh, 
it's just so so stupid there's like what in the hell were they thinking when they made this who the hell in their right minds actually fucking did this it's refreshing to sometimes watch a movie sometimes and just not really give a shit what the fuck you're seeing as long as it's visually entertaining and sometimes makes you laugh and at uh, times with some good special effects online I give this game a, or movie a really, really fantastic uh, praise. Although this could be converted into a game because it's so game-like. <laughs> so they could make a movie or make a game about fucking aliens versus ninjas and make this a video game, a full-on AAA game. That would be hilarious. Just make it so funny and so stupid. No, it's so weird that and over the top that it's just entered. It's pure entertainment. <laughs> this thing flies away and it flies around and does all kinds of stupid shit. You never really know what you're going to get. And you seem to start to kind of think that these characters are okay. So these characters have something special about them. That they're creating something. That they're creating some project that's just, just so fucked up. <laughs> you just skin, <laughs> makes your skin crawl. Uh, that's that's fun. That is entertainment. That is exactly what is the most entertaining things. But, I mean, movies are movies. If you like movies, you like seriousness. And when you start to like movies, you start to realize there's a whole diversity of creativity out there. And sometimes <laughs> creativity leads to some disturbing ass shit. <laughs> some shit that will shock you down to the core to melt your soul make you think about what could possibly be in the deepest depths of the human depravity and then you start to learn that well maybe this isn't so bad maybe this is is what entertainment is all about maybe this is a different form of entertainment a different genre of just bat shit insanity that doesn't even fucking match up to reality uh, that's when you start to really like ninjas versus zombies. I mean, zombies versus aliens. I mean, aliens versus ninjas. I mean, ninjas versus bears. But, I mean, like, really, it's, it's entertainment. It's pure, uncharbroiled entertainment, and it makes you feel that you're, uh, <laughs> part of something bigger, something grander different world of imagination and strangeness and uh yeah that's that's ba virtually what this movie is all about Ch pure uncharbroiled strangeness how stupid do you have to be to be serious all the time in life it's so heavy and people like to make it difficult on you sometimes you got to just kick back and look at the fucking stupidity and insanity of all. This movie likely didn't make much money. It may have made some. I have not. Don't have the effort to look it up. But actually, this movie was um, given about six out of ten. Enjoyable, trashy stupidity, and it's obviously self-aware. But it does a good job at what it does. And, uh, you know, there's a very good chance that you've never even heard of it in your entire life, and I, for some reason, think that you should watch it. You never really know what you might find in this craziness. You're only a person of culture if you can really sit back and do something that allows your mind to explore and expand and see things that you never thought possible. And that's part of the magic of movie making, is that people are able to use their imaginations to create something that is never, never be possible in reality, and make it their reality. And this reality is sometimes pretty messed up and disturbing, and that's what Ninjas vs. Aliens is all about, is that <laughs> there's different uh, things. And I'm... This is going to be a great rabbit hole, because i got to find more like this. And, and then, you know, there could be some things that I find in this journey. 
But this journey starts with me telling you about this movie and telling you they exist. And it exists for free. That you can watch it right now in relatively great quality for nothing at all. For absolutely free. And you won't have to spend any money because it's on the internet archives. Because this type of thing has to be preserved. Has to be seen. Has to be cataloged by our species. It has to be... Uh, explained or attempted to be explained by some idiot like me who just wants to tell you about a stupid movie that he saw and made him entertain and that's really the whole part of this all is that aliens vs ninjas exists it exists now and you can see it right now I've provided the link below thanks and have a nice day